Mononucleosis is a viral infection that causes fever, sore throat, and swollen lymph glands, especially in the neck. Most often the cause is the Epstein-Barr virus. Most people are infected with this virus when they are very young and they develop mild fever, fatigue, and loss of appetite. But if infection occurs during adolescence or young adulthood, the virus causes infectious mononucleosis, or mono, about 35 to 50 percent of the time. Mono is often referred to as the kissing disease because it is spread by saliva. Coughing, sneezing, and even sharing drink cans might cause transmission. Mono is very contagious, and since the incubation period can be anywhere from 10 to 60 days, it can be passed around easily without detection. What are some of the signs and symptoms associated with mono? Initially, mono might feel like the flu or even strep throat. Mono usually starts with a sore throat and muscle aches. Then it progresses to loss of appetite and extreme fatigue. Lymph nodes in the neck and throat become enlarged and there may be abdominal tenderness due to an enlarged spleen. Another indication of mono is an elevated white blood cell count with some immature cells. Another blood test might be done is a monospot. A positive reaction to a monospot test is a reaction to antibodies that are produced by the immune system when the client becomes infected with the virus. If the monospot fails to confirm the diagnosis, an antibody test for the virus that causes mono can also be done. Since mono is caused by a virus, antibiotics won't help unless the client gets another infection, such as strep throat. Acetaminophen, or sometimes ibuprofen, is recommended for clients with mono who have fever. This will help them feel better and alleviate muscle aches, but that's about all that can be done for this infection. Rest is what's most important. The only restriction is to avoid vigorous activity or exercise until the fatigue is gone. Young children who get this infection shouldn't participate in contact sports if they have splenic enlargement due to the risks of pressure or trauma. It could take between two and four weeks for clients to begin to feel better. Once infected with the Epstein-Barr virus, People have lifelong immunity, whether or not they become ill when they first acquired the infection. After the initial infection, the virus remains in the body for life, but it usually remains inactive. In most cases, it does not cause repeated symptoms. Most people with infectious mononucleosis recover completely and never have any subsequent problems related to it. Nevertheless, there can be complications. Some clients develop a heart problem called myocarditis. Central nervous system disorders, such as aseptic meningitis or encephalitis, a condition called Guillain-Barre syndrome that causes temporary paralysis, or anemia that destroys red blood cells, called hemolytic anemia. In some clients, the facial nerve becomes inflamed and they could develop Bell's palsy. It usually is temporary, but it causes weakened or paralyzed muscles on one side of the face. In general, though, there's no way to predict who will and who will not develop complications.